Now, I just have a suggestion to make. What's the difference between just laying hands on or laying hands on anointing with oil? I suggest to you, and this is just approximate, that the laying on of hands without the anointing of oil was for people who were not members of the church. But for members of the church, the ordinance concluded anointing with oil. And again, I want to point out to you that the New Testament indicates that normally every believer should be part of a congregation. For he says, is any sick among you Christians? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing with oil. Now, if you go to one church on Sunday morning and another church on Sunday evening, which group of elders will you call for? And if you don't have elders to call for, what will you do when you're sick? See, in other words, the New Testament assumes, with various exceptions, that a believer shall be a member of a congregation known to the leadership, recognizing his leadership, and having available to him the ministry of the leadership. Just let me mention something else. This is not on this, on this subject, but in the book of Revelation chapters 2 and 3, there are seven messages sent, and they are sent to seven churches, only to the churches. Anybody who was not in the church didn't get the message. I feel God wants me to emphasize this. I feel some of you are like the mountain goats. You're way out ahead of the herd and you don't have a shepherd. And that's a dangerous place to be. It's humbling to submit yourself to human authority. But God blesses the humble and he resists the proud. So you have to choose. Now, I, there are exceptions. There are situations which this doesn't apply, but don't be an exception if you should be part of the rule.